The heart of every good home is the kitchen. And in this special segment, we're focusing in on what makes it tick. We head to Adelaide into renowned chef Adam Swanson's own home for some tips on kitchen design, some food stories, and of course, a mouth-watering recipe to get you inspired. Hi, I'm Adam Swanson, and today I'm gonna to be cooking a family-friendly recipe, penne with tomatoes, rocket, and fresh mozzarella. Cooks in eight to 10 minutes, so it's a fast one, it's tasty, it's simplicity at its best. Firstly, we need to get our pasta into the pot. It's going to take about eight minutes to cook. Good pinch of salt into your pasta water is a must. Don't forget to stir your pasta as soon as it goes in the water. That way it cooks nice and evenly. Let that go. Now onto our tomatoes. Beautiful little cherry tomatoes. They're full of flavour, so sweet and tasty. So you can get these all year round. Just chop them straight in half. Going to get a good splash of olive oil into our pan. Now don't be scared with olive oil, okay? This is the base to our sauce along with our tomatoes. Garlic, everybody hates crushing garlic. I'm gonna show you the easiest way possible. Get your palm, take out all that frustration of a hard, bad day that you've had and just give them a bash like so. Now, garlic peels, so easy. Straight off with that skin. Now discard that top piece there. Break it up, straight into the pan. Italian cookery is all about fresh ingredients and this one is why we add the fresh garlic. We don't need to chop it, we don't need to get anything diced from in the jar, it's about freshness. So what we're doing here with the garlic, we're infusing the flavour of the garlic into our olive oil for about a minute or two and then I'm going to take it out. So there's no pieces of garlic floating around in your pasta later on. In with our tomatoes. And look at that sizzle. That's what I love about induction the continuous heat. Induction cooking, you know, some people say, do I go gas, do I go induction? For me, I have best of both worlds. I'm lucky enough to have another kitchen around the back with gas, but we'll talk about that later. Induction is super fast, super convenient, and what I love the most is that even though if I take that off, I can touch it with no problems. So having two young kids, if they're running around the kitchen, which typically happens in my household, there's no scared about them burning themselves or anything like that. And also, I love the seamless look, especially with this beautiful marble. So, enough chit chat there. Tomatoes in, need salt. Tomatoes need salt 100%. Don't be scared. Induction again, you know, you don't have to turn anything, you're just touching, heat straight away. Bam, like that. Within 10 seconds, I've got a serious heat in there. Take some of your pasta water, okay? It's gonna help allow those tomatoes to collapse down. So now, using the back of your spoon, just squash them like so. Smells amazing. Now normally I'd have my kids running around the kitchen, dinner time, they get home from school, they're starving, they're like, dad, dad, I wanna eat. This is the dish you take to them, it's simple. Now, when I design my kitchen, I like to see my kids, whatever they're doing. Typically, you'd find an island bench with the sink in it, not for me. I'm about entertaining, seeing my family, talking to people, and this is why I have my induction in the middle of my island, and it works a treat, so that way, when this dish is ready, I say, round up kids, come line up, and I feed them. Okay, the sauce is looking good, pasta's almost ready. Time to add the rocket into the pan, like so. Grab some of your basil, just tear it with your hands, picking off the leaves. Now, little flick. Beautiful. If it's thickened a little bit too much, take a little bit more of that pasta water, add it into there like so. It's all good, full of flavour in there. Key, strain that water off the pasta now because we've added more into the pan. So in that goes. Okay, toss your sauce through the pasta like so. Okay, typically you think about using a pecorino or parmesan to finish your pasta dish. Give this one a go. Grab your La Casa fresh mozzarella. Squeeze it nice and open like so. Look at those amazing curds of that mozzarella. So, no need to cut, just tear in place over the top. That way the heat from the pan is gonna make those amazing curds just ooze out through the pan net into the tomatoes with the basil. Mm. Okay, there we have it guys. Our fresh mozzarella with tomato. That's what we're looking for right there. That beautiful oozy fresh La Casa mozzarella with our pasta. Simplicity at its best, you know, feeds the family, cooked in eight to 10 minutes. Check out more of these recipes 
at Open Homes Australia on Instagram or Facebook. Enjoy.